Hello, class. Good evening. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Hi, good night. Hello, good evening. How are you? In this very, very rainy night. Hoy sí que ha llovido. Bastante. It has rained a lot. It has rained and rained and rained and rained a lot. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Maria. Welcome, Jonathan, Laura, Mr. Jose, Hello. Oscar, Xiomara, Laurita, Hello. Moises, Hello. Janet, Madeline, Mrs. Milda, and all the others that are going to connect in a moment. It is a pleasure to see you once again, to have you here in the class, and for sure to have the opportunity to share with you again. Today, we are going to talk a bit about uh, the clothing. We are going to talk and describe the clothes that we are wearing for the class. And for sure, we are going to practice a little bit about adjectives and possessive pronouns. That will be our class today. We are going to start our day by practicing a conversation. I am going to share my screen with everybody and we are going to start. Okay. No, 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 How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día de todos ustedes? Good evening. It was good. Hi, Madeline. Very good. It was very good. Excellent. Fantastic. Thank you. Fabulous. That's very nice. Fabulous. Great. So, it's very good. That's fantastic. I am very happy because as today is my day off, I, I am at home all the day. Hoy es mi día libre, entonces la paso bien genial aquí todo el día en mi casa. It's pretty awesome. Okay, I have a conversation there and we are going to practice it. And it starts. What is the problem here? Where are the ladies located? ¿Dónde están las chicas? Where are they? In, what is the name of the place? Lavanderia. Ah, where, where did you say lavanderia? <laughs> That's a Washes. very good question. How do you say Washes. lavanderia in English? Laundromat. Laundromat. The laundromat, uh, the laundromat, the laundromat is lavanderia. What is the difference between the laundromat and the dry clean? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre dry clean y laundromat? Ajá. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Laundromat es en la casa y dry es más todo. Close, close. In the laundromat, you are the one who wash the clothes. En el laundromat, usted va, abre, pone detergente y toda la cosa. In the dry clean, you say, here you go, thank you. <laughs> And then you leave, right? It's the problem of the dry clean, right? In the dry clean, you don't do anything. You just pick and you just take and pick. That's the only thing. And on the laundromat, you have to do all the process, right? Ustedes esperan la ropa, la ponen, le ponen el detergente y todo. Doble. Exactly like that. But the laundromat is public. That's the only difference, that the laundromat is public. And in the, in your house, it's the laundry place. The laundry place is the espacio para la lavadora, right? The laundry place. Or the cleaning space, right? The, the laundry place is in your house, right? Ahí está la pila y el jabón. And the laundromat is la lavandería. 
pero in, in, in the place, right? In a big place. So, said this, we're going to continue. Is the lady happy or angry? Angry. Angry. The angry. first one is angry, right? This one is angry. And this one? Surprise. It's surprise or is a shame. She's ashamed. Pensó que esa camisa no era de ella porque era celeste y ahí era blanca. No, but you are going to see what happened. No, porque mezcló la ropa de azul y blanca. Se le manchó. Yes. Se le manchó. So, the lady is angry. Tiene una blanca y se la hacía celeste y se le manchó. One of them is angry and the other one is ashamed. Ashamed is like, oh my God. Oh. La regué. Right? She's ashamed. So she feels bad. And for sure, the other one is very angry. And we are going to see what's going on. Here it says It's yours. Great. Our clothes are dry. Just and secas, right? Great. Our clothes are dry. Great. Our clothes are dry. Uh are dry. Where, dry. Where is my new blouse? Where is my new blouse? What where is color my is new bla blouse? And it says, what, what color, color is, is this? Where is my new blouse? Okay, let's do it like this. Lo vamos a hacer primero. Primero se los lo y después lo repetimos, okay? Okay. Okay, listen then. Listen. Great. Our clothes are dry. Our clothes are dry. Where's my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Is these new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? Uh, they are mine, sorry. <laughs> It's like, uh, oops. <laughs> oops, I did it again. <laughs> oops, I did it again, right? Practice with me. Great, our clothes are dry. Great. Great, our, our clothes, clothes are dry. Are dry. Where's my new blouse? Where is my new blouse? Blouse. Blouse. What color is it? What color is it? It's white. It's white. It's white. white. Here's a light blue blouse. Here's, Here's a, a light, blue light blue blouse. 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 Oh. Is it yours? Is it, is it yours? Is it yours? No, no is it it's yours? not mine. No, no it's not mine. mine. It's it's not mine. mine. Wait, it is wait, mine. Wait, 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 wait. It's, it's mine. mine. It's mine. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Oh, no. Disaster. Oh, oh no. No. no! All our clothes are light blue. All our clothes are light blue. Here's, light the, blue. Problem. Here's the, the problem. Here's the problem. It's, problem. it's, it's these problem. new blue jeans. It's these new blue jeans. Blue jeans. Whose blue jeans are they? Whose blue jeans, jeans are they? Whose jeans are they? They are mine. Sorry. They are mine. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh. now we are going to practice the conversation again. But in this time, we are going to be very angry. Hoy sí van a estar pero enojados porque les arruinaron la ropa. And all the conversation is going to be angry. Toda la conversación la vamos a hacer enojados. Great, our clothes are dry. Great, our clothes are dry. Our clothes are dry. Where's my new blouse? Where is my new blouse? What color is color it? What color is it? It's white. It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? It is yours. No, it's not mine. No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It is mine. It is mine. It's a disaster. It is a disaster. Oh no. Oh no. no. All our clothes are light blue. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. 
It's a problem. It's his new blue jeans. It is the blue jeans. Blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Whose jeans are they? No me sale el Ah, they are mine. Sorry. Oh, they are mine. Sorry. They are mine. They are mine. Sorry. Okay, I need two volunteers. Two volunteers. Go ahead. Two volunteers. One, two, and. Tic-tac. Okay, Madeline and Maria Elena. Good. Madeline and Maria Elena. Now, you are not going to be angry. Hoy no van a estar enojadas. Van a estar tristes. Ah. Mamá, ya está enojada, madre mía. Yo, pe... Madre mía. No, hoy las dos, las dos van a estar tristes. Hasta el teléfono estaba agarrando ya. Aló, aló, uno, dos, tres. Con todo iba Madeline. No, okay. but no, you are very sad. Sad, sad, sad. le quité el impulso. No, pero voy a transformarme, vale. Para que practiquemos los diferentes entornos. Ah, vaya, va, démosle. Vaya, yo, yo voy a hacer pat. Ok. And you, Julie. Bye. Gray, all clothes are dry. Where is my new blow? What color is it? Sad, sad Marielena. Sad. Triste, Marielena. Triste. This way. <laughs> it's Here, way. I like blue. White. Blouse. Ah, white. It's your. Is it? Is it yours? Is it yours? Madeline. <laughs> no, it's not mine. Wait, it's my. It is mine. It is a disaster. Oh no. All our clothes are like blue. Where, where in that problem is there new blue jeans? Whose jeans, uh, whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. They're mine. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's the problem you say here's the problem yeah. it's these it's new problem. blue jeans it's, it's these the new problem. blue jeans it's these new, new blue, blue jeans, jeans. New whose jeans are they these whose okay. jeans are they um they are mine sorry oh, they, they, are they are mine, mine. sorry okay, okay. Why did I change? Why did I change the feeling that you were expressing? Because in English, the way that you say something <coughs> is going to give you the idea of the meaning. Okay, in English, it is very important how you use the intonation for something specific, because it is not the same. It is not the same if your wife, for example, or your girlfriend says, do whatever you want. Okay, imagínense que su esposa o su novia le diga, hace lo que quieras. Ah. The, the intonation <laughs> is going to give you the message. It will, it will be like, sí, hace lo que quieras, no hay problema. It's like, dale, hace lo que vos quieras. <laughs> what it, is? <laughs> it will be like, okay. <laughs> In English, for example, if I say, okay, and the different intonations of the, okay, ah, okay, hmm, okay. It gives a different uh, meaning. Imagine if I say like, it's fine, that's fine. Oh, it's fine, thank you. It gives you a different idea, right? <laughs> it can be something nice or something terrible. To say like, okay. It's your decision. And, and if I say, okay, students, it's your decision. The intonation gives happiness or fear. <laughs> Le puede dar alegría o terror, depending. 
on your wife, right? Si, le, si su esposa le dice, ah, ¿qué dijiste? <laughs> it is giving you the chance to survive. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <risa> so, that's the idea. Por eso les cambié, el, les cambié el feeling. Para que vean de que el mensaje puede ser diferente si la entonación es distinta. Ah, sí, es cierto. Imagine es cierto, if nosotras, I say, ajá, cierto. imagine you were very sad. It's like, oh, it's a disaster. Oh, these jeans are mine. I'm very sorry. But the other one, here's the problem. It's this blue jean. <risa> You'll be like, ah, they are mine, sorry. Right? Imagine it, it is different if it's like, ah, they are mine. It's like, I don't care. It was like, nah, give it to me. But if it's like, they are mine, I'm very sorry. So it gives a different meaning. <coughs> right? Teacher. Yes? Aún la expresión del, del rostro. Yes. Or the, or the, the gestures that you use. If you say, it's a disaster, it will be like, oh my God. And it's like, it's a disaster. Oh my God. So it gives a different meaning. So that's why English is very, very important on how you express. It's very expressive, right? It's very expressive because you use the gestures and the movements and the expressions for you to add extra meaning to the sentences. Good. It was a very good way to practice today. In this way, we can actually combine different uses of the pronouns. In this case, when you say our clothes are dry, our clothes, um, nuestra ropa, right? When you say clothes. it's my new blouse, it's me, nueva, mi camisa nueva, mi blusa nueva. It's And if nice. I say, is it yours? Is, is, is suya? Is suya? Your, right? Yeah. No, it's not mine. No, it's not mine. No, no es. No, it's not mine. No es mía, right? And you say like, si, sí, si sí es mía. Sorry, right? All our clothes are light blue. Nuestra ropa, right? Oh, Está celeste. Oh. Here's the problem. Oh. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? En este caso, ¿a qué significa este they aquí? Whose jeans are they? Okay. ¿De quién está hablando este day? Pantalones. Pantalones. Exactly, to the jeans, <laughs> right? You are talking about the jeans. And it says, oh, uh, they are mine, sorry. And in this case, I am going to show you the different forms of the pronouns that we used in the conversation. And you are going to see the different forms of using. Here, here we have the possessive adjectives and the possessive pronouns. In this case, we have it here. Aquí abajo se los puse y qué significan. And it says, my, your, her, his, and it. It is possessive. <coughs> porque muestra que es algo de alguien. Right? My name, your house, her house, his uh, shirt, it's jeans, for example. Our and their. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Eh, el is siempre va, siempre se va a referir a la otra, lo que es de otra persona o a lo que es de un objeto. It's cuando lo ocupamos para reemplazar un objeto. Sí. Okay. Pero en este caso es uh -huh. el, el okay. es el, el algo de ese objeto, right? For example, if you are talking about a guitar. Imagine if you're talking about a guitar and you say, I like its sound. Es el sonido de la guitarra. I like its sound. Si les muestro, por ejemplo, eh, la botella, and you say, hey, teacher, I like its color. Me gusta su color, right? Pero su de la botella, right? That's, that's a form of using. And in this one, the possessive pronouns, In this case are mío, tuyo, suyo, suyo de él, suyo de ella. But in this case you use mine, yours, hers, his, its, ours, and theirs. Something curious about this one is that the possessive pronouns are at the end of the sentence. Los possessive pronouns están al final de las oraciones. 
Si se fijan y volvemos a la conversación, <coughs> ¿dónde tenemos un possessive pronoun en esta conversación? Aquí al final, mean. Ajá. Oh, so you say? They are mine. They are mine. Julie, la final. It is mine, mm. right? Aquí también. Mine. Yours. Mm. Yours. Ajá. Uh -huh. And they are mine. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Y todos están al final al de la final. oración. Mm -hmm. Al final de la oración. Eso es algo que los caracteriza. ¿verdad? Que los ocupamos al final de las oraciones. Pero los possessive adjectives como my socks, my house, my dog. Yes. yes? Eh, por lo general estarán al inicio. ¿o no? eh, van antes del objeto del que estás hablando. Porque no puedes decir, por ejemplo, en este caso no podemos decir... These are socks my, because it would be incorrect. Aquí, en este caso, no podríamos decir, these are socks my, porque la oración no tendría sentido. Aquí va antes del objeto del que estamos hablando. These are my socks. These are your socks. These are her socks. Okay, va these antes are del objeto. Our. Our these are their. Their socks. And in this one, when you say, these socks are, y aquí va al final. Si lo, habla, si lo traducimos, aquí sería, estos son mis calcetines. Y en el otro sería, estos calcetines son mis. Mi. Mine. That would be the form. Okay. If you say, these are his socks, esos son sus eh, calcetines. Esos calcetines son suyos. Okay, that's the different form. And in this one, these ones are possessives with the apostrophe, the apostrophe and the S. Esta es otra forma de mostrar posesión, pero este es ya bien en específico. Cuando decimos Pat's blouse, ¿de quién es la blusa? De Pat. De Pat. ¿De quién es el jeans? De Julie. De Julie. ¿De quién es la camiseta? The Rex. The Rex. This is, this is Natty's marker. This is Natty's phone. This is Natty's mouse. Okay? El apóstrofe hace la diferencia. Exactly. But we need to be very careful. Ahí el apóstrofe nos está dando la posesión. Imagine if I say Natty's blouse is black aquí tenemos el uso del verbo este es el verbo este es el posesivo ok Natty's blouse is black la blusa de Natty es negra ok so that's the form of use nos queda claro la diferencia entre el posesivo y el verbo que no es este verbo, aquí no dice Nati is blouse is black no, esta es la posesión el que de quién vea blouse, la blusa de Nati la blusa de Nati es negra eh, es cuando se hace énfasis que es exacto, de estamos hablando de algo específico de posesión ok, muéstrenme un objeto que tengan ustedes ahí cualquier objeto, muéstrenme un objeto Ahora tengo un objeto que tengan cerca. Here I say, Natty's pencil is yellow. Natty's pencil is yellow. Give me your sentence. Stephanie's pencil is pink. Stephanie's pencil is pink. Very good. Another one. Osmilda. Ya, ya tiene el micrófono. No, ya lo tenía encendido, Milo. Ahí lo apagó. <ríe> me lo entiendo, me lo apago. Oscar, debe su ejemplo. En todo lo que es Milda me repara ahí el micrófono. Es que el inter está bien lento. Ah, ok, ya volvió, volvió. Eh, Osmildas No sé cómo se dice guantes How do you Perdón. say guantes, people? 
How do you say one thing? Gloves. 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 My gloves is black. Ok, gloves siempre va a ser plural, porque siempre son dos. Casi nunca es uno, sino la otra mano se nos congela. My gloves is black. Ok, arreglemos esa oración. Eso sería, Osmildas, gloves are black. Porque es... Madeline's. Es, ajá, Madeline's. Cap is white color. Ok, only white. You say Madeline's cap is white. Ok. Wow. Lucía, nos está mostrando el sillón. ¿Qué color es el sillón, Lucía? Ah, ya lo estábamos viendo ahí entre todos. ¿Se nos perdió, Lucía? Teacher, no remember. Is... Headphones. 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 Nancy, go ahead. Headphones. Mm, um... Nancy's telephone is purple. Nancy's telephone is purple. 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 Okay. Oh, Moisés Antonio, go ahead. Oh, eh, yo tengo una duda en caso de que, por ejemplo, mi nombre termina en S, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Very good question. La pronunciamos, más no la escribimos. Decimos Moisés, Moisés, cap is white. Moisés. Pero al Moisés. escribirlo, solo le pone el apóstrofe al final. No tiene que agregar otra S, si no sería Moisés. Ah. Moisés Cap is white. Rosa María, your example. White. Eh, Rose. Rosas, Rose. you can say Rosas. Is. Después de su apóstrofe, rosas, headphones, headphones are, are, are um, what my, color are they? ¿Qué color son? Black. Rosas, headphones are black. Vayan escribiendo ahí su oración para que no se pierdan. Oscar. Uh, Oscar's small case, small case is pink and light green. Ok, Oscar's small cake is light green and pink, I guess. It's pink and light green. Very good. Escriban su oración. Let's see. Juan Guzmán, go ahead. Eh, Juan, Juan's mouse is black. Juan's mouse is black. José Eduardo, go ahead. Jose's book is blue. Jose's book is blue. Very good job. Let's see. Zulma. Zulma has in con, con, creo que se dice con color <laughs> café. Zulma's comb is comb brown. Is, is brown. Zulma's comb is brown. Jansi Anaya. Zulma's is brown. Very good. Sulma's comb is brown. Jancy. Jancy's notebook is pink. Jancy's notebook is pink. Very good. Let me see. Janet. Janet is a uh, pencil is blue. Janet, what is it? ¿Qué era el objeto, Janet? No lo vi. Ah, Janet's pencil is blue. <laughs> P.A. Ma. Blue. Let's see. Regina. And then Ricardo. Regina's blouse is white. Regina's blouse is white. And Ricardo? Richard's the pencil is blue. Richard's pencil is blue. Blue. Okay. I am going to share here just to copy a couple of examples and for you to see it, right? I am going to take Rosa. I am going to take Rosa. And here you have Rosa's headphones are black. black. Here, Moises cap is white. And the period, right? 
I am going to take Sulmas. Sulmas comb is brown. And I am going to take Oscar. Oscar's ice cream. Oscar's ice cream is light green. Okay. Just to make an example, right? Just to make an example. Perdón, teacher. Dele, Sofía's salon. Sofía's salon, exactly like that. Sofía's salon is very famous. Y ahí hablamos de otro, de otro, de otro tipo de oración. Sofía's salon is very famous. And I can say, Nati's house is very far. Okay? And here you use the sentence. Usamos el posesivo, pero para otros fines. Okay? Sofía's salon is very famous. El salón de Sofía es muy famoso. La casa de Nati está bien lejos. We can say, eh, let's use Maria's dog is very small. Y ahí lo podemos ocupar. So these are examples, sentences that we can use with the possessives, right? And in other area of knowledge, I can say, uh, this is another way to use it. And it is also the possessive. Okay. Carmen is Nati's mother. ¿Qué sería en este último? ¿Qué uso le estaríamos dando en esta última oración? Hablando de su mamá. Ajá, pero aquí nos referimos a quién? Carmen es su mamá. Carmen es la mamá de Nati. De Nati. Ok. De Nati. And that's another form of the possessive. Ahí lo usamos, el posesivo, pero de otra manera. Ok. Así que, oh. ya ves, tenemos como un, un abanico de oportunidades. <risa> Una duda, teacher. ¿Diez? En el caso de Moisés, como no se puede poner la S porque se dijo que se iba a pronunciar diferente. Ajá. Como doble Solo S. se pone el Entonces, apóstrofe. Entonces, solamente los nombres que tengan S que no al final. S se le puede poner S. Exactly. Like pero that. los nombres que tienen doble S, sí, no, ¿verdad? Solo no. el apóstrofe. Only the apostrophe. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Excellent. So that's the idea about the possessives with this. Remember the possessive pronouns go at the end and the possessive adjectives before the noun, okay? I am going to call the attendants. Voy a pasar lista antes de mandarlos a trabajar en los grupos porque vamos a hacer ahí la descripción de la ropa, pero vamos a pasar lista primero. Chan, chan, chan. Remember to say here or present on your name when I call the attendants, okay? Let's start and I am going to go with Stephanie Guadalupe, Martínez, yeah. Galdames Pérez, Martínez, yeah. Janet Rosibel. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Fernando González. Here, teacher. José, José Daniel Valdizón. Present. José Eduardo Mengíbar. Here. José Wilfredo Coreas. José Wilfredo Coreas. Eh, Juan Pablo Guzmán. Present. Carla Sofía Ramírez. Carlita Sofía. Present. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Laura Lizette Díaz. Here. Madeline Rocío. Here. María del Carmen Gómez. María del Carmen. María Elena. Present. Thank you. Mary Guadalupe López. Present. Thank you. Moisés Antonio Segueda. Present. Moisés Antonio. Thank you. Nancy Jocelyn. Present. Oscar Antonio Ramos. Present. Osmilda Claribel. Present teacher. Paola Lucía. 
Present, teacher. Regina Guadalupe. Present. Ricardo Alexander. Present. Ronald Ernesto Díaz. Ronald Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Eh, Rosa María Miguel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Rosy Natalie. Rosy Natalie. Ruth Daniela Molina. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sofía Geraldine. Sofía. Sofía Geraldine. A la una, a las dos, a las tres. <laughs> no. Let's continue with Victor Alfredo. Hey, I'm Victor. Ese es milagro. Se me durmió Victor ahora. Teomara, Elizabeth Hernández. Present teacher. Yancy Yamilet. Present teacher. Yesenia Beatriz. Yesenia Beatriz en Zulma Mercedes. Thank you. Okay, let's continue then. I am going to go back here. Hoy con una linda guitarra por ahí, no sé dónde. Jose Wilfredo Coreas. Thank you. He says present. Jose, Jose. Thank you. I am going to change it here. Very good. And I am missing one, two, three, four. Very good. <clears throat> Let's work. Me saca y me vuelve el internet. Pobre Lucy. I am back. Ya volví. Gracias a ti por este momento bello. <laughs> Okay, we're going to work in groups. And on the groups, what we are going to do is the following. On the groups, we are going to describe. We are going to describe what we are wearing. How are you going to do it? And you are going to say, well, good evening. Today, I am going to describe my outfit. And you are going to show your outfit. So how are you going to show your outfit? Okay, pongámonos todos de pie, por favor. Todos, everybody. Everybody, on your feet, go ahead. Vamos, arriba la silla, mueva, 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 mueva. Move, 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 move. Voló el teléfono por ahí, muy bien. Okay, move from your chair, move from your chair. And you are going to show the class what you are wearing and how you look wearing. What are you wearing today? Okay, stand up. And you are going to show the class and you are going to say, well, Today, I am wearing, and you are going to describe, right? I am wearing a black and white blouse, a turquoise necklace. I am wearing brown jeans, right? I am wearing brown jeans, and I am wearing black shoes. And you are going to show your shoes. I don't know how, but you are going to show your shoes. How? Like this. I'm wearing black shoes, right? That's what you are going to do. And on your group, you are going to do the same, right? There, very elegantly looking, you are going to say, good evening, today I am going to show my outfit. And you are going to describe, okay? Accept my invitation. Acéptenme la invitación y nos vamos a los grupos a describirnos. Vámonos. Go ahead. Accept my invitation. Ahí quédense elegantes todos modelando. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Accept my invitation. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Accept my invitations. And let's go to the groups. I am missing Janet, Yesenia. Thank you. Osmilda, Osmilda, acéptame la invitación para los grupos. Y José Wilfredo Coreas, acéptame la invitación a los grupos.
José Wilfredo, ¿no le llegó la invitación por el grupo? Hello, hello. José Wilfredo. Acá, no le llegó la invitación para el grupo. Se la voy a volver a mandar. There you go. Now, all my students are going to describe all the pieces of clothing that they are wearing to their different groups. Let's see how they are doing on the groups. We are going to go and listen how they are describing themselves. Let's go and check. Uh, black. 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 Y el modelo, no le vi los zapatos, mentira. No me mienta. Ajá. Ahí practica el contorsionismo para enseñarnos el zapato. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice jeans en inglés? Flip flops. Flip flip flops. Flip, flip flops. Ok. Ya. Yeah. ¿Quién es el siguiente modelo? Vamos a ver. Um, ¿Cómo voy yo entonces? Ok, Nancy, Justin. Um, I am wearing, wearing. Wearing. Uh, uh -huh. Wear a uh, rose blue. Uh, I am wearing a, <laughs> a black short. A black short, ¿ah? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's ok, <laughs> it's ok. <laughs> Black, black pijamas, pues sí, eso es lo que estamos. Son las, son las 9.44. A black, a black flip flap. Black flip flaps. You see, that's very creative. I really love this group. Very nice. Continue describing. Continue describing, my dear group. Continue, continue. It's black green. Huh? It's black green. Dark green. Dark, 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 dark green. green. ¿De qué camisa estamos hablando? Eh, verde oscura. Dark green. Dark, dark green. green. Ajá, porque dark es oscuro, light es claro. Light green, verde claro. Dark green, verde oscuro. Verde oscuro. Ajá. ¿Quién era nuestra modelo? María Elena. Sí. Y María Elena, modela. Ah, sí. <risa> <laughs> so you say today I am wearing. Vaya, repito. I am wearing legend. I am wearing t-shirt dark green. Dark I green t-shirt. Ah, uh, dark green t-shirt. 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 I am wearing a pink flip flap. Pink flip flops. Ahí en cámara. Pink flip flops. Pink flip flops. Pink flip flops. Good. Who's next? ¿Quién sigue? Sigamos, chicas. Ahí, descríbanse, descríbanse. Ya vuelvo. Okay. Is black and white. My blouse is black. Um, pants is black. My pants are. <laughs> you have black shoes. Very good, Mary. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> Very excellent job. Remember the plural. Thank you. The plurals, in this case, you say, my pants are black, or I am wearing black pants. Okay. Come on, Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay, go ahead. Yo creí que regañando a Jonathan. Go ahead, go ahead. Action. 
¿Cómo es, la, ¿Cómo es la pregunta? ¿Cómo es lo que dicen al principio? Ah, today, today I am describing my outfit. Today I am describing my outfit. Outfit. Describing, describiendo. Ajá, describing. Describing my outfit. My outfit. Today ¿Ah? I am describing my outfit. 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 Uh, I am wearing a t-shirt, gray. Gray t-shirt. Primero el ah. color, después el objeto. Ok, ok. I am wearing a gray t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Esta es... No, esta es una suéter. ¿Cómo se dice? Chamarra. Jacket. 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 Ah, bueno. Eh, I am wearing a blue, blue bra, jacket. Blue jacket, ajá. Uh -huh. Ah. ah. Bien. Ese es pantalón de vestir. Formal pants. Ah, formal. I am wearing... Very good. Y estos son zapatos de cuero. Leather shoes. Yeah. <laughs> like, I like this. <laughs> Leather yeah. shoes. Leather shoes. Very good job. Very good job, Jonathan. I am going to go to the last room. Continue. Continue, group. Terminen. Black t shirt. Ajá. Well. Uh -huh. Hello. Hola. Hello. Hola. Pregúntenle a la teacher. Ajá, pregunte. Estoy traduciendo. Teacher, para decir eh, eh, calcetines o medias es are, are. are white socks. Ok. In this case, you say, I am wearing white socks or my socks are white. Yo traduzco, es primero el, el, el color, color y después, y después el objeto. El objeto. Yes. I am wearing I, I am wearing black t-shirt black t-shirt t-shirt uh -huh. yeah porque si the black t-shirt hay una t-shirt ahí negrita sí. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your, your black t-shirt my, my, my este... black blouse right <laughs> uh -huh. ahora otra duda es que vaya, ya dijimos lo que tenemos uh -huh. como decimos eh, Regina tiene very eh... good questions Regina's blouse is white. Regina is blouse. No, Regina's. Uh -huh. Regina's blouse, blouse is. Blouse is white and black. White, white and black, sorry. Okay. Exactly. Ronald's okay. t-shirt is black. Uh -huh. O podemos hacerlo así. Osmilda is wearing a red tank top. Mm. Osmilda is wearing a red tank top. Tank top es camiseta. Teacher, y, mm. y pues tenemos que repetir I am wearing cada vez que decimos. No, very good question. Qué buenas preguntas las de este grupo. <laughs> you can say, today I am wearing black and white shirt, brown jeans, black shoes, earrings, necklace, and you can make a list. Pero ya al inicio sí. Today I am wearing, y ahí hacemos el listado de las cosas. Black shirt, black eh, shoes, brown jeans, turquoise earrings, turquoise necklace, right? And you give the list. Porque no va a decir, today I'm wearing a green shirt and green shoes. I am wearing black shoes. I am wearing earrings. No, it's not necessary. But you can give the list of objects, okay? So let's go back to the sorry, rooms. Sorry, sorry, yes? no, no alcancé a anotar. Regina, Regina's t-shirt. Regina's blouse, porque esas ya son, ah. bla, son blusas. Ah, sí, so, sí. Las que son t-shirts son como las que cargan ustedes ahorita, como la que carga sí, sí, Ronald, sí. como la que cargas tú. Entonces, en ese caso sí son t-shirts. Uh -huh. sí, pero la estructura sería Regina. Regina's, eh, Regina's blue, blouse. blouse is white and y black. El color. 
Okay. Sería como white and black porque el white es el que más resalta. Sí. En el caso de la okay. mía es black and white. En okay. sí, el caso de Osmilda sería Osmildas blouse is red. Exactly. Osmildas uh, blouse is red. Very good job. Let's go to the main room. Welcome back. Me habían sacado. <risa> ya volví. Ah, ya volví. Me, me sacaron. El inter, el inter. Ok. I was answering a couple of very good questions in a group. How do you report? Entonces me dicen, ¿y ahora cómo reportamos? It's a very good question because imagine that you were working in a group and in the group, eh, I don't know, we had Jonathan in the group. Jonathan estaba en su grupo, pero ¿cómo reportamos lo que Jonathan dijo? In this case, you can say, Jonathan is wearing a blue jacket and black, let's say, I am going to invent, okay? Maybe it's not like that. Ah, no, it's not black, it's blue. And blue shirt, okay? Jonathan is wearing a blue jacket and blue shirt, okay? Or I can say Jonathan's uh, pants are black. Ahí estoy reportando lo que él me dijo, right? Jonathan's pants are black. And I am talking about someone else, okay? I am ah. talking about someone else. El primero es que lo, lo que usted describe y el segundo es lo que Jonathan había descrito, lo que tenía. No, no, no. En general, Jonathan me pudo haber dicho, today I am wearing blue jacket, blue shirt, black pants, eh, brown shoes. Pero si alguien me dice, ah, ¿qué, ¿qué está vistiendo Jonathan? Ah, Jonathan is wearing a blue jacket and blue shirt. Uh, y la otra opción es Jonathan's pants are black podemos decir Jonathan's jacket is blue okay? e igual estamos ah. reportando voy a agarrar a alguien de ejemplo veamos entre todos los que estamos aquí ok, Madeline, Madeline que está aquí con, con, con su chaqueta bien colorida me gusta ok, vamos a agarrar a, a, a Madeline todos pueden ver a Madeline Sí, Madeline, no. muéstranos su, su blusa o jacket, no sé qué es lo que carga. No, es una camisa. Una camisa. De trabajo. <ríe> There you go. Entonces, ¿qué está usando Madeline? ¿Quién me reporta que está usando Madeline? Blue, 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 orange. 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 Is orange. 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 Blouse. Xiomara, vale. veamos a Xiomara, vamos a quitar aquí el destacado a Malin y vamos a destacar a Xiomara. Ok, Xiomara, report the blouse of Xiomara. Xiomara's blouse is red. Xiomara's blouse is red. Xiomara con the blouse is red. red. Is red. Y en una forma normal, ¿cómo me lo describiría? Si Omar is wearing a red blouse. As you can see, that's the way you use it. Right? Blouse si Omar's blouse is red. Or si Omar is wearing a red blouse. Both forms are possible. Okay? Ah, se había metido. Wearing a red blouse. So you see, 
It is not really complicated, but the idea is that you organize the sentence before you mention it. Siempre organicen la oración en su mente antes de expresarla. Escríbanla si es necesario. Ahorita que vamos empezando, escríbanla. Y no se les va a complicar mucho. José Eduardo, ¿sí? Yes? Y, y, y cuando, por ejemplo, hay nombres que uno, por ejemplo, Juan Carlos. Ajá. No es solo un nombre, uno que dice Juan Carlos tiene camisa roja. It's going Juan to be Carlos. on the second name. ¿Cómo hago con Juan el Carlos? Juan Carlos. Ah. Okay, let me just let me just write it here. So lo voy a poner en la pizarra. Here, I am going to go with Juan Carlos. Uy. Is white. Okay, Juan Carlos shirt is white. Once you mencionamos la Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos shirt. Pero no le ponemos otra vez, solo el apóstol. Ah. Juan Carlos shirt is white. And it's on the second S. It's on the second name, ¿ok? Si voy a ocupar, por ejemplo, Rosa María, you say Rosa María's glasses ah, are brown. Second. In the second name, ¿ok? In the second name. Y en el caso is... de Mr. Mr. <coughs> Gómez, por decir algo. Mr. Gómez. Mr. Gómez, ajá. Uh -huh. You just siempre, mention siempre it like that, yes? El IS. So you say Mr. Gómez. Ah, okay. Because siempre, it's not an S. Siempre. Solo los que terminan en S. Ahí sí. sí. Mr. Gómez, eh, car is blue. Okay. You can mention it like that. Mr. Okay, Gómez, car is blue. Very good job. Very good job. Me gusta que me hagan preguntas. It's okay. Okay. No nos queda duda, yes, Janet. Ah, no. En, oh, en, este, en este caso, eh, no es necesario siempre decir wearing, wearing a todo lo que se usa, o si es necesario. Good question, very good question. Por ahí me la hacían también en un grupo. It is important mm -hmm. that you don't repeat. And if you can repeat the less, that's better. You can say, I am wearing. Al principio sí. I am wearing. Ja, me di al revés la palabra. I am wearing. I am wearing black shirt or black blouse. Imagine uh, blue jeans, black shoes, and silver <coughs> watch. Ok. Al principio nada más. Al principio del listado para evitar decir, I am wearing, I am wearing, I am wearing, I am wearing. I am wearing black shirt, blue jeans, black shoes, and silver watch. What is the problem here? In this case, you can say, I am wearing a black shirt, I am wearing blue jeans, black shoes, and a oh, watch. silver watch. Okay? That's important. Take care. Yes, Ruth? Se puede sustituir con I have. Eh, you can say I have, pero ahí sí me está diciendo que lo tiene, no que lo está usando. <coughs> si yo lo tengo en el guardarropa, sí. I have a yellow dress, I have a red jacket, yo tengo. Pero if, uh -huh. if, si me quiere mencionar específicamente que lo anda usando, I am wearing. Pues yeah. si, yo lo tengo en, si yo lo tengo en la mano, es I have. I, uh, uh, I have or I am carrying. Si lo, si lo anda cargando, me puede decir, I am carrying. I am carrying, si lleva vestido y lleva mochila, sombrilla y todo, I am carrying an umbrella. Or you can say, I have. I have. I have an umbrella with me. I have yeah. an umbrella with me. ¿Qué significa esto? Cargo una sombrilla. Sí, imagínense que ahorita que está lloviendo les digo, hey, do you have an umbrella? Yes, teacher, I have an umbrella with me. Ando cargando una. So you can use it. Good. Did I answer your questions? Le respondí la pregunta. We are going to finish the night with a little exercise. En este ejercicio, aquí tenemos possessive adjectives. Y si se fijan, no están al final, van antes del objeto. Vamos a usarlos para complementar la oración. 
let's use it like this. I like. What is the possessive adjective for this one? I like. Me, my. Me, no, me. my. My, I my like. Hat. I like my hat. Good. I like my hat. My hat. My hat. Okay, I like my hat. She lives with her, her, her brother. I have your, I have your pen, right? Your I have pen. your pen. Good. The next one. I know they, 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 I know their they, mother. She likes their he, he likes, he likes his, his, his shoes. Y aquí me decían, pero ahí está equivocado. No, a ella le gustan los zapatos de, de él. Uh -huh. The teacher has her, 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 her book. book. We buy oh. our oh. food every day. He loves it. It's like it. Porque nos referimos al radio. It's music. She wants my money. money. <laughs> and the last my one, money. I like Dave and Tanya. Our. Or their. Cuando ocupamos. Cuando ocupamos their y cuando ocupamos our. Our if I am included. Their if I am not included. Okay. Si la incluyen, our. Si no la incluyen, their. Okay? So, we're going to stop here. And tomorrow we are going to finish with this topic. And we're going to wrap up the unit number four. And we're going to start the last unit for the month. Please, for tomorrow, I need you to have your section four completed. Ya, para el día de mañana la sección cuatro tiene que estar completada. Okay, yo creo que ya muchos ya la terminaron hasta las cinco. Pero es el recordatorio siempre vale. Have a beautiful Thank night you. and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next Good night. 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 Good night.